Hey guys, it's Yellow Canine. I thought I'd do a fun little video with some fun facts about my latest animation, the ghost animation meme. Let's get started. Number 1. The whole story and concept is based on myself and my dog. The main character, Rixie, is my fursona, a character I made which reflects myself and is used to represent me. My yellow lab dog, Copper, passed away this last December. I figured the ghost meme would be a perfect way to make a tribute to him. The actual song uses the word ghost in the context of technology and ghosting someone, but I decided to use the word ghost in a more literal sense and use it to represent the ghost of my dog, Copper. The whole piece is my character who is being haunted by this playful ghost. The ghost leads her to a special place and Rixie finally realizes his identity and embraces him in the last scene. This concept is so personal to me and I felt it was a story I needed to tell so I was absolutely determined to finish my piece in time, before the end of the competition. Number 2. I actually spliced the intro to the song and stuck it at the beginning of the segment I wanted to animate. My video uses the last two minutes of the song, but I wanted to include the intro of the song so I could put in the title sequence, so I seamlessly spliced the intro and put it into the middle of the song. Number 3. I used a mood board to help get inspiration going for the backgrounds and atmosphere. It actually helped a lot nailing down the palettes and getting ideas for the compositions and environments. This picture here was a huge help in the park scene. And this one here helped a lot for the forest scenes. Number 4. There were several concepts I had for the ghost's coloring. I was going back and forth debating early on whether the ghost should have a white outline or a gray one. I think the gray outline looked more ghost-like, but the white outline had more contrast. Eventually, I settled on the white outline with the glow effect. Number 5. The rotation scene took me the longest. It took me about four days to get that scene looking just right. I knew what I wanted it to look like in my head, but wasn't sure I could pull it off the way I wanted to. I used some CG using Maya to help as a basic guide, and the whole time was a lot of trial and error. A little bit more about how I did that scene. I started with the trees, separating each onto their own layer. I learned how to animate them on a path, and made them move in a circle pathway. They ended up not looking quite right coming to the foreground, so those trees are different ones animated on their own paths. They also have several layers of branches that are rotating slightly to try and make them look a bit more 3D. The background trees are just panning. Bushes are animated separately. Rocks are rotating on their own path as well, and inside the symbol, they are animated frame by frame with the different angles drawn out. Inside that same symbol, my character is also animated rotating around. And lastly, the ghost is animated on a separate layer. It was quite the challenge, for sure. Number 6. The scene that took me the second longest to make was the lip sync scene. It took me, I believe, two or three days. I struggled with what the poses were going to be and how my character would be placed in the scene. I shot a reference video of myself to help act out the poses and expressions, and it was a huge help. Number 7. The scene where my character runs across the rocks, I just winged it. I kinda just went for it, drawing out the poses I figured someone would make, trying to balance themselves. And I think it turned out pretty awesome, especially with no reference. Number 8. My animation has 73 layers altogether. Number 9. The outfit and scarf my fursona is wearing is actually an outfit I own. Number 10. The duck plush in the treehouse is a plush toy my dog had. It actually used to be my own stuffed animal till he claimed it as his own suckle toy. It was this one and a couple other toys that used to be me and my brothers that he would suckle on. We assumed this was because these items had our scent on them. Number 11. The pixel art scene was animated separately in Photoshop, then imported into Adobe Animate. Number 12. Everything was animated exclusively in Adobe Animate, aside from the pixel scene I just mentioned. However, the glow effect for the ghosts was added in Adobe After Effects. Number 13. The whole piece took me about a month to make in total, working practically every day to ensure I could complete the piece in time. Number 14. As of right now, the video has over 136k views and growing every day, which puts it at my most popular video on YouTube. Additionally, this video was a push I needed to finally get my channel monetized, which is a long-term goal I've been aiming for for a long time now. Super exciting news. Thank you so much to everyone who gave it a watch. 
Number 15. Lastly, you may wonder if I placed in the contest. As has already been announced, my piece actually won first place in the contest. It's so exciting that all my hard work paid off. I feel like my piece was absolutely personal, unique. It was definitely one of my best animations to date. I felt really strongly about it and I'm really happy that the judges of the contest felt the same way. The prize I won is an Artist 22 X Pen tablet and I'm super excited to receive it. Also, be sure to check out the winner's video to see the top 10 runner-ups. Congrats to the second place winner and all the rest of the runner-ups. Everyone did such a great job. That's all I've got. Hope you enjoyed a little behind-the-scenes talk on this animation, and I'll see you very soon.